Hello, I'm Glenn Darling from the Open Horizon team, and I'd like to give you a little tour of Open Horizon. So first of all, let me uh, tell you about the windows I have here. The white one is where I'll be executing all sorts of commands, and the green one is where we're going to watch the agreement formation uh, process, the negotiation with remote agbots. And in the bottom window, it'll show the Docker containers that are currently running on this node. Um, also, I have a window down here where I have some files that I can copy and paste to illustrate things for you during this demo, and I just use it so I don't have to type a lot. Um, so uh, I've already taken the liberty of running the software install process. So I have the local agent and CLI installed, and also I've got this node connected to a particular uh, exchange. Now there's two different ways that Horizon can manage your software. The first method is by pattern. Pattern's really simple. You just give it a name and you create an array of services. I've just got the one service that I've already published called Hello World. And uh, then once you have created that, you can go ahead and register. Uh, so let me create the pattern. So that has created it. and. Uh, also, I'm going to set some input variables that uh, I'm going to set a variable called hwwho. I'm going to give it this value, pattern customer, so we can actually see it when the software is running. Now let me register with that pattern. So HCN register with a particular pattern, and I give it the pattern name, and with an input file that uh, allows me to set a variable here, this pattern input.json. So now it says use HCN agreement list to watch the workload agreement negotiation process, which should begin shortly. So over here in the green window, we should expect to see some action very soon. You can watch the time here. Yeah, it just takes a few seconds usually. So the agreement uh, negotiation process, these three fields are relevant. So it was created, now it's been accepted. In a moment, it'll be finalized, and then execution will start after it's downloaded the Docker container. And down here, you can see that the container is running. And um, if you take a look at the syslog, you can see the output from this little example that I have here. So hello, pattern customer, hello, pattern customer, over and over again. OK, so now I'm going to HZN unregister. And minus F just says, don't prompt me for a yes or no. And so this will terminate the agreement, terminate all agreements, and it will stop all the currently running workloads or services, and it will restart the Horizon agent. So you should see the, the Docker container disappear, and you should see the uh, agreements disappear. So there we are. Now I'm going to show you the other mechanism by which you can uh, manage software on your Edge device, and that is to use the policy mechanism. Just wait for it to finish unregistering here. There we go. OK, so let's take a look at the policy file. So policy consists of properties and constraints. And they're, they can appear at different levels. And any type of policy can have either properties or constraints or both. But typically, when I'm doing node policy, I just set a bunch of variables as properties. So uh, I'm saying that my little Raspberry Pi 3B Plus here is has the model name Glenomatic and it has a serial number of 4 million and it doesn't have a camera. So that's uh, what I'm asserting in that uh, node policy. And now I'm going to go ahead and register the node with that policy. So uh, this is similar to what we did before when we registered with pattern, but this time it's HCN register minus minus policy and I give it a node policy. And it says the same messages here. It thinks that we should go and watch HCN agreement list, but there's actually not enough information uh, in the exchange to start any kind of agreement negotiation process. We need another policy. So always you need to have some kind of a node policy and some kind of a business policy, or, or a deployment policy is another name for business policy. So I'm going to create a business policy now. So like before, it has properties and constraints. And typically, when I create a business policy, I don't put any properties. And I only put constraints here. So this business policy will be active 
uh, if and only if model is equal to glenomatic and serial number is less than 5 million or serial number is grace greater than 7 million and it applies to this service so this happens to be exactly the same service that I used in the last example the Glen Hollow World service and it has this user input so uh, in the pattern we specified the user input on the edge node when we specified the pattern um, but here I've done it in the policy so HW who that same variable will be set to policy one when I uh, set up this policy if an agreement is formed so let's go ahead and publish that policy or create that policy in the exchange that should only take a few seconds okay so now this business policy is in force the one that I was just showing you and the nodes local uh, node policy is also in force so this should result in an agreement being formed so again we have uh, our set of agreements flying by over here and uh, in a moment we should see execution start and the um, the service running and now I can do the tail command again and I can see hello policy one hello policy one and so on now uh, I'm going to pol publish another business policy I have one here we'll publish it and then we'll take a look at it I'll publish that and uh, let's take a look at it this one is very similar to the other one except it only is in force when the serial number is greater than six million but if you remember my serial number is four million so this business policy is not going to have any effect it's it's in the exchange and it would take effect on any node that has that set of uh, properties so what happens if we change the properties of this node so let's change the value of the serial number on this node and then let's modify the nodes policy so use this to update the node policy and we'll see what happens So uh, similarly, uh, when when the, a um, policy changes, then the agreement bots and the agent have to renegotiate. So they have to renegotiate, reevaluate whether the policies uh, line up and uh, result in a situation that should run the policy. So you can see my second policy, the Glen Two policy, is uh, an agreement has been formed for that and it's moving through the process of acceptance and finalize and execution start time and we should see the agreement for that I mean the you know the uh, container for that policy running down here and the container for the other policy has stopped running so you can have any number of business policies you like and uh, they will be evaluated against every single node policy and those node policies that match will have an agreement formed with their uh, corresponding egg bot and the software will be started or uh, stopped based upon what happens in that negotiation process so i hope you have got a clear idea now what the difference between using the pattern approach and using the policy approach is and welcome to open horizon